Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make user-generated content. Now, this is going to be a very basic tutorial, so if this is maybe not your lane, you already know how to do all this, maybe skip to another tutorial of mine, and I'll show you guys more complex tutorials. Uh, but this is just for anybody who really doesn't even know where to start, but they're interested in user-generated content or creating your own hats. So with that being said, the first thing you're going to do is open up Studio. You need to have your Explorer page and your properties open to the side over here. And we're just going to go to the Plugins tab and we're going to hit Rig Builder. And then we're going to insert a uh, block rig. So you should your studio should look exactly like this right now. You should have a dummy. All you're going to do, you're going to ungroup, right click and ungroup. And all you're going to need is this head mesh right here. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to right click in the Explorer page and we're going to export selection and we're just going to name it head. And that will let us know in Blender that this is exactly what we need. Um, so now that you've exported that, just right click to export. Um, you should be good for studio, so I'm just going to kind of leave it alone right now. And we're going to pop open a Blender tab. Now real quick, we're just going to go over the controls real quick. To move around, you're going to use Shift F and that will let you move freely. Use the scroll wheel to change the, the speed of your camera. So you can scroll uh, up and that'll make you move faster, scroll down and you can move slower. Um, just left click to set your camera wherever you want. So like there. And that's the basics for controlling the camera. You can also use your middle mouse and that'll rotate you around this orange origin dot right there. Um, but I prefer just uh, shift F to move freely. With that being said, we're going to delete everything we don't need here. We don't need this lamp, so just hold shift and let, right click it and right click this cube and camera as well. Hit X to delete and now we have an empty scene. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to import that head mesh. Just go to file, import wavefront or .obj and then just hit your head mesh that you downloaded. So you guys can see here, the head's going to be off to the side actually. And that's because the position that it's given in Roblox is actually not the exact position in Blender. So we kind of have to move that to the origin real quick. So all we're going to do is control, shift, alt, C. And then we're going to hit geometry to origin. And that'll bring the geometry over for us. So you guys can see we got our head in here. If you want to see the face, you can hit texture. And um, yeah. That'll give you the, that'll show you the face. So real quickly, we're going to go over some more basic controls. We got our scale tool. We're going to hit S and you can scale it up or down. Just drag your mouse. We got our rotate tool. Just hit R to rotate. Our G tool, that'll grab it for us. And then that should be everything. Now, some things you need to know about these tools. These are the basics, by the way. So some things you need to know, you can perf you can specify the axis for any of these. So let's say we want to scale it along the X axis. Just hit S and X, and that'll let us scale it along the X. Uh, y axis, just hit Y, and then Z axis, and that'll scale it along the Z. Uh, the same concepts apply to rotating. Um, you can move it along any axis. So that's how we're going to be doing um, our rotation and our scaling. So with that being said, we can get started on the very basic top hat that we were talking about. So what we're going to do today, we're going to insert a circle and you guys can kind of drag it up a little bit. But first, we're going to specify how many um, how many edges we want on this circle. So you guys can see down here and it says in the bottom corner, it says add circle. First, let's actually get uh, move our head mesh over a little bit so you guys can see the circle better. Add a circle. And before you even mess with the circle, you have to specify down here how many vertices you want. So vertices are going to be the little points on here. Here, I'll show you a little better. Um, you guys see all these little dots? That's our vertices. We have to specify how many we want in there. Um, so we're going to want just not even hardly any. You guys can see we can drag it up and down. Uh, we're going to want, let's say, about 20. So just change your vertices to 20. And then don't worry about the rest of this. It doesn't really matter. All right. So now that we've got our circle, this is going to work as the bottom of our top hat. But you guys can see the circle is way too small for the head. So we're going to change that. First, let's drag it down to about the top of the head. We're going to kind of position it accordingly. You guys can even go down here and uh, change your view to top. And you can position it correctly like this. Once you got it in about the center of the head, just like so, um, we're going to scale it. So just hit S and scale it up. We want it to kind of overlap above the head a little bit, just like so. 
And you guys can see the top hat will be floating a little bit right here. So we're just going to move it down and it'll actually clip with the head a little bit. I think that's pretty good. I'm just going to make it a little bit wider because I prefer my top hats to kind of be bigger like that. All right, now that we got that done, this is just a ring, right? We want to fill it in. We want to make an actual object. So the easiest way to do this, just hit F. That's it. That'll fill in all of this middle of the circle for you and that'll generate a face for us. So next thing we're going to do, we're going to go right here and we're going to switch to faces and we're going to hit E and E will extrude it for us. So that'll bring it up for us if we want to. So we're just going to bring that up a little bit and we're going to switch our shading to solid so we can kind of view the topology a little bit better. All right. Now we're done with that. We need the top part of the top hat. This is only the bottom. So what we're going to do, we're going to hit I and that'll insert faces for us. And we just drag it in however thick we want our top hat. So let's say we want it about that thick. Pretty good. Now, um, it looks like we've got to start here, but if we go into object mode, it's still a flat circle. So we need to give this a little bit more dimension. So go back into edit mode. We're going to hit E to extrude again. And we want to give our top hat a little bit of a ring to it. You know what I mean? Uh, a lot of them actually have that. So we're gonna, just going to give it a ring. We're going to E to extrude. And then I'm going to S and scale it out a little bit and just give it kind of a unique look to it. Now I'm going to hit I again and just give it a little bit of a lip you guys can see there. And then we're going to extrude it again and just drag it up. You can scale it out however big you want it. Maybe scale the hat up a little bit. But if we go into object mode, you guys can see it's kind of got that top hat look to it. I'm going to change my shading back to texture so you guys can see the face and kind of how it would look. Uh, this is about the basic shape of the top hat. Um, if you guys want to play around with it, maybe bevel it a little bit, you can. Uh, I'm going to select all these faces around here, so alt right click and then control B and I'm going to bevel it a little bit and just give it kind of a, a little bit of a lip right here and that'll kind of shape it a little bit better. Let me switch my shading to solid, you guys can see. Yeah, it gave it a little bit of a lip around here. And then I'm going to make the top uh, be a little bit beveled too. So I'm just going to extrude it and then scale it in a little bit. And that'll create kind of a smoother look to everything. Uh, but I think that's the basic shape I want for it. If you guys don't like this geometry um, look to your top hat, all you have to do is go to shaving UVs and then switch your faces to smooth. And that'll give it a smoother look to it. All right. Now what we're going to do, we're going to color it. Um, so this, there's many ways you can do this. Um, you can either texture paint it, but for this case, you don't really need to. Or you can just use um, UV mapping. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So all you're going to need is a color palette. And what I mean by that is you can go to Google, you can type in a uh, color palette, um, or you can create your own using a Photoshop program or something like that and just I would save one of these if you find a color scheme that you like so let's say we want our top hat to be maybe a fall color right uh, we're gonna type in a uh, fall color palette right and let's just right click and we're gonna save this image and um, I wouldn't use any of these for commercial use unless you have licensing to these images this is just for educational purposes um, so what we're going to do, we're going to go to this little arrow over here and we're going to drag open another viewport and we're going to go to UV image editor and we're going to open up what we just saved. Um, so remember the name of your file. Okay, so go to what you just saved. Right here and open it up. And you're going to have to um, unwrap all these UVs um, if you don't understand what that means. So basically we're taking all these faces and we're stitching it onto the image and that will apply the color to whatever face you choose. So if I wanted here, let me switch to texture real quick. You guys can see that this is all uh, mapped all over the hat. So if I wanted the whole thing red, then I would just drag it all to the red. You see what I mean? Um, so we're basically just kind of telling it what colors we want our top hat to be. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to unwrap this. We're going to hit A and select everything and we're going to hit Smart UV Project. And that will just project our hat onto this image. Um, that doesn't really matter, but that's a good habit to get into, especially if you're interested in making hats like that. So you just got to get used to kind of getting in the good habit of having good um, unwrapping your hats really good. So for this one, we're going to make ours, let's make it a, um, 
I want to make it a red and a orange stripe around it. So let's just um, scale everything down and we're going to drag it to this red right here. And then we want this little stripe right here to be orange. So we're just going to alt right click and that'll select all these faces in a loop. Um, and we're just going to hit G to grab and we're going to bring it over to the orange and then do the same right here. G to grab and bring it to the orange. So you guys can see that's our hat. Uh, you can scale it accordingly however you like it, but that's the basic hat for you. I'm going to turn on um, ambient occlusion. You guys can just see the shading better. But that's basically how you would make a hat in Blender. Um, very, very basic tutorial. If you guys want to see more complex stuff, make sure to subscribe. And I'll show you guys how to get it into Studio real quickly. So we're just going to go into Object Mode. We're going to go to File, Export, Wavefront.obj. And then we're just going to name it Hat. Uh, first, go back and make sure you have Selection Only. So right here, just click Selection Only. And that way you don't export your head with it. Um, we're just going to name it Fall, uh, fall Top Hat. Alright, now let's pop this bad boy into Studio. So you're going to go into Studio, you're going to right click, hit Insert Object, and then Mesh Part. You're going to go over here to the Properties and hit Mesh ID, and then just open up your Fall Top Hat right here. And it should automatically apply the texture, but if it doesn't, just go to Texture ID right here and change it. Um, now it's going to be really big, obviously, so you're just going to have to scale it down. Hold Shift and just drag it down. And then you can specify how small you want it to be by changing the increment that you move it. Alright, you can scale that up. And if you wanted to, you can make it into an actual hat that you can wear on your character. But I just showed you guys how to model it today. Um, just position it correctly if you'd like. But yeah, that's how you make a very, very basic top hat. Um, yeah, that's it. So if you guys have any other requests for me to 3D model, or if you'd like to see one of your favorite hats made, um, or just anything, really, anything Blender or Studio related, I can teach you guys that. Just make sure to leave a comment down below so I know what to help you guys with. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Goodbye.